I remember this mural project was on the way. I just recently uh, I finished a, a laser tag arena at the bowling alley right down the street. So I saw this being in the art community. I um, sat back a while and just watched it, you know, uh, see how this was going to turn out, what would be the criteria. And my understanding is any ethnic group from Buford can come and participate do art that shows Buford for what became Buford, what made Buford what it is. So the only suggestion I could give was naming some people that was born here in Buford, South Carolina that became successful, that became celebrities that, that, that made their way out of Buford to a bigger place. It took one month to do it. They were all done by spray cans. It was almost $800 worth of cans. This was covered with condensation, you know, from the cold, it was February. Everything was dripping wet. How to do it, I had no idea. I just gave it a try with the spray cans that I was so in love with. It has sealer in it, it has primer, it has paint. It's low pressure. And believe it or not, I could actually paint over the condensation. It would actually move it out of the way as long as you take your time. Plus the ridges is my uh, greatest challenge, but I love a challenge. So I outlined everything in black, just the whole thing, and just came back and colored it. So I started from obviously the oldest, which is Harriet Tubman. Then it goes to uh, Robert Smalls, Kent Austin, and it goes down to the Mather School. Then you got Pat Conroy, and then it got to more of the sports figure or up-to-date modern celebrity type things. The boxer, uh, Joe Frazier, you have Richard Parker, the engineer, born without any arms. Of course, Candace Glover, the American Idol. Candace Glover, we got C.J. Cummins, the youngest weightlifter, four times weightlifting champion. Champions. And of course, we have Ron Parker, former NFL player, Kansas City Chief. Some elderly folks came through here who said they was around when they first built the tunnel, you know, and then here, almost 40 years later, it's being decorated, uplifted. I even had one of them said something that was really intriguing. He said, hey, you need to put your face up there. And guess what? I did. <laughs> so they saying, I'm going down in history as well. But uh, the students loved it, the instructors, and I just saw on Facebook, just random people just come up in here and just start taking pictures for personal reasons. The time I was hitchhiking a ride here daily to go to work, and then being that it was in the winter month, you still have to shut down before five o'clock because it's dark. So those obstacles caused great results, you know? I had so much peace afterwards. I was able to, to purchase a vehicle afterwards. Everything just started growing bigger and bigger with more of these projects. Since I could write my name, I could draw. It just was a, a gift that was discovered early. And more knowledge and revelation about art comes from the creator, from reading his word, and the understanding that everything that's in this world is created by his word, you know? So your dreams, you can be successful. Anything you set yourself to do, just press forward. So that's my encouragement to the kids. Pursue your dreams. It doesn't always have to be art. Whatever's in your dreams, do, be the best you. Be the best at it.